talk a little more about the contrast effect and what's your uh, idea on that? What, what, what do you think about when it comes to the contrast effect? Yeah, so the contrast effect, basically, as you kind of alluded and sort of said in your definition, is how we, we basically compare, we like upgrade or downgrade things or others compared to something we may have just witnessed. We do this all the time. So take a look at Steph, you want a different realm. Steph Curry, he looks super small in the basketball court, but he's actually six foot three. Right. If he was at my house, he would be a giant, okay? I'm five foot nine. Um, Kyrie Irving, looks tiny on the basketball court, he's six foot two. You get what I'm saying? So um, this this happens a lot. We also do it with ourselves. When I was uh, in high school, or in junior high, I moved states and started playing soccer for a team that really wasn't very good. And so I stepped on the field, and it was because it was mid-season and there's no other teams to try out for. And I was instantly top two players, right? I was in junior high, it's not a big deal. But one of the best top two. Thought, wow, I'm so amazing, I'm so good. The following year, I went and tried out for a good team. And I started on the bench. <laughs> so, right? Good compared to who, right? So, it's good for you when you're looking at others and looking at yourself, okay? Average is, you know, the best of the worst and the worst of the best.